Hi Grange, hi Year 2s, it's Mrs Lawrence. Welcome back for some more RE. Last week in RE, Miss Lang gave you an introduction to the Baha'i faith, where you learned that the three main Baha'i's beliefs were one God, one religion, one people. In one God, Baha'i's believe there was only one God, but he had different messengers. Can you remember who those different messengers were? Yes, they were Jesus, Muhammad, Abraham, Moses, Krishna and Buddha. They also believe in one religion, meaning that all great religions have one source, which is God. They also believe in one people, which means they believe that all people should be treated equally and that we should treat others the way that we would like to be treated. They also believe in no prejudice, meaning we shouldn't have unkind thoughts about people before we even know them. Can you remember who the leader, the founder of the Baha faith was? Yes, it was Baha Ullah. Let's carry on. For this lesson, you will need a pencil and paper and colouring pencils or fell tips if you have them. But if you haven't, don't worry. Remember, you can pause the video at any time. So today's date is Friday the 22nd of May 2020, and your ally is to understand prayer and the Baha'i religion. Your success criteria is, I know what a prayer is, and I know that Baha'is believe that any spot place can be blessed. So pause the video and write the date and the ally. Okay, I'm going to read you a poem called Blessed is the Spot, which is a prayer from the Baha'i religion. Listen carefully. Blessed is the spot and the house and the place and the city and the heart and the mountain and the refuge and the cave and the valley and the land and the sea and the island and the meadow where mention of God has been made and his praise glorified. So what is a prayer? Have a think. What is a prayer? So a prayer is a conversation with God where we, we might ask for help for ourselves or for others. We might pray when we're worried about something and we might pray when someone we know is not feeling well and we want them to get better quickly. And we might pray to say thank you for the food that we eat. We might also pray for our family and for our friends. So what does this Baha'i prayer mean? Let's start with the first word, blessed. What does the word blessed mean? So if you're blessed, you might say you feel lucky to have something. Maybe you've been blessed with a health or you've been blessed with a particular talent, something that you're good at. In this prayer, blessed is the spot, it honours respects every place where God is praised and where he's mentioned. So in the prayer, it's talking about all those different places where you can respect God and you can praise him where, where, where his name is mentioned. So what do some people do when they pray? If you pray, what do you do? This small girl in this picture, she's closing her eyes and putting her hands together. Maybe that's what you do. Some people bow their hands and put their hands together when they pray. Some people kneel down when they pray. Some people look up when they pray. Some people have special items that they carry when they pray, like these rosary beads. Some people pray on a special prayer mat when they pray. If you pray, which one do you do? I'm gonna say the prayer again and show you some pictures to go with the prayer. So blessed is the spot and the house and the place and the city, and the heart, and the mountain, and the refuge, and the cave, and the valley, and the meadow, and the sea, and the island, where God, is, God has been made and his praise glorified. So, your task is to draw a spot different places where God could be mentioned. What sort of place could that be? Maybe it could be a house, a garden, a mountain. Think of all the different places where God could be mentioned 
and draw and draw those places. If you like, you can label them with the names or you can just draw them. Don't forget to email your homework at the email below. Well done. Thank you for listening to this RE lesson. See you next time. Bye.